So good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Charles, and I'm the president of the St. Pete Jewish Campus Conference in the Lightning House. So please bear with me as we go through this presentation. Hello, everyone. I'm Eliana, and I'm the treasurer of Jewish Campus. And we're very excited to present to you our 2015-2016 budget update. So first off, we'd like to give you an overview of our funds. If you look at it, the blue is our original allocation, and the red is where we are now. So for most of our funds, we're about the midpoint. You'll see a couple funds are missing red bars, and those are initiatives that we've completed. So our first uh, allocation, we gave $40,000 at our first presentation to our SBA fund. At that presentation, we also intended to allocate money towards a wellness fund, but we were then advised to dissolve that fund, so we were able to give $5,000 from the wellness fund to the SBA fund. And right now, we have about a little under $30,000 left in there. And this is a fund we use for leadership opportunities, civic engagement, and generally for pr promoting student success. If you look there, we've got a picture from our faculty and staff appreciation day. And here's an example of how we use the leadership opportunities. This is a photo of our group at the November Legislative Conference. And we're very proud that three of our e-board members have served on the District 3 for this award. our Student Life and Leadership SGA fund. Uh, we started out with $34,000 out of $12,000 from wellness and $4,000 from seed money, which we'll cover later. And we are now at uh, $17,000 with it. These are the initiatives we use to promote success for first-time college students, to celebrate diversity, put on events like the Great Debate, Table Day, and UC Day. And we've also got a future initiative that we're looking forward to implementing, uh, raising awareness for sexual and domestic violence. And here are some photos from those events from Unity Day, from our just story, and Vivica Robertson at with MLK Day Parade, um, at our Veterans Day event, and then lunch with our wonderful provost. <coughs> the next one is our college wide initiatives. Every campus um, allocates money towards business for our Microsoft and our big, big care. But we noticed that those services weren't really being used by the students, so we put together programs that inform the students how they can use the services. Just so I make sure that their money is being spent how, you know, by them. <coughs> the next one is our proposal money. This is for clubs and clubs and organizations that get money. Um, one thing I want to highlight that we were very proud of this year, around they are Black Student Union on campus. They relaunched themselves this year, and so they used proposal money to go to a conference to learn how to work, organize their club and how to get more membership. So they currently have over 40 active members in their club, so that's a good thing for the club just coming back. Um, also, our Men Achieving Excellence and our Student Support Services, they are going into the Black Brown College Brown. That way they can address <coughs> how they reach the minority students and help retain them to our college, because I know that's a big thing that we're working with here at SBC. <coughs> the last thing is our Student um, Support Services, they, um, we put money, gave them money to offer textbooks to our students that were in need, that couldn't afford the textbooks for the classes. So that's another <laughs> thing that I want to mention. <clears throat> and something big we did this year, um, there's always that group of students that we tend to forget about, and those are our online students. So this year we wanted to make sure that they, that they had a place at SBC and where they're home. So we sent out um, well, um, if SPC information and some promotional items just to welcome them to our SPC and let them know that we're here for them but not for them. <coughs> the next one is our student success and attention. Bless you. And we use this money to we have a transfer fair. And this is a picture from it. There was over 20 universities there as well as um, places for careers so students can go and find that information if they want to transfer to a university after the associates and also if they want to get into the career field after that. Um, our open POs is water, everybody needs water and events when they want students to get it, students and faculty to get dehydrated. Um, our office supplies and then we have one for the Hellinger, that's our awards for our award ceremony. And this year, we, because every year we go throughout getting pizza and pizza and it just takes a lot of time, so we this year we open up an open PO for that. That way we didn't have to go through the purchasing process or keep following our folks in purchasing with that. Um, the next one, four-year programs. I 
and especially <clears throat> wanting to make sure that our four-year students were looked at because I am a baccalaureate student here at SBC. So <clears throat> we advocated and went towards them. And then on our campus, we were able to send a class to the Chihon Museum to <clears throat> learn about the arts and the get themselves acquainted with um, the arts. And so we also are working with our college education, Kai Dapa Pi, that's the um, honor society, well, not honor society, um, club organization on our campus. Um, so we were help working with them to make sure that those baccalaureate students were able to be successful at SBC. And any remaining money that we have left in the event of contact with the key, which is on the baccalaureate honor society, to make sure that they're taken care of and see if they can use them to get help for them. So now we have our peak registration fund. We co-host to get it done day, and we generally supported registration such our initiative. And since those periods have passed, our initiative is, is completed, and we're now at zero dollars for it. Next, we have our disabilities fund, and we use this for students who may need accommodations but are unable to afford them, and also for them to get trusted so they can get access to those accommodations. We also funded an orientation for those students and their families at the beginning of the year so they can become more familiar with the services and the accommodations we offer. Next, we have our learning support fund. We put $10,000 to support the learning commons with an OPS employee, and this uh, tutors specializes in remedial tutoring to make sure that all of our uh, students are getting support they need. Now we have our seed money. So these are the funds for each club that are renewable during the start of fall and spring semester. And uh, as some of our clubs use them, they use them for projects like science and engineering, had a robotics project. Uh, you see Americans for Liberty had a legislative event with local representatives there. And uh, GLOW, Gay, Lesbian, or whatever, had a balloon wreath release. And um, we started off with $10,000, but we ended up uh, only using $2,000 during fall semester. So we moved $4,000 from this fund at mid-year upon reevaluation to the SGA SLL fund. And right now we're at about $4,500 with it. We have a new fund, our legislative budget, which we took from the dissolved wellness fund with $3,000. This sponsored a portion of the Dr. Law trip and also uh, started our tobacco-free initiative. Here you can see a picture of students lining up for the tobacco-free movie night. We watched uh, the new Jurassic World movie with Chris Pratt. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have our contingency fund. Uh, the number at the start, we started at about $25,000, which is about 10% of our original total budget. Now we're at about $13,000, which is 10% of our remaining budget. And this is the uh, money we use for unexpected expense, uh, expenses. We did a financial literacy workshop about promotional items, and we're intending on leaving a cushion for next year's e board for onboard training and summer events. <coughs> so, yeah, if you look, we had our total budget that we started with, and we've got a remaining budget with uh, $137,000. And then, if you look, we've got just a spreadsheet of what we started with, what we have now, and then the graph you saw at the beginning to give a visual. And that concludes our portion. If you have any questions,